Hey, random mod for you guys. Um, I got this uh, Phoenix Axis Hax820. Uh, this is the E2. It's a really good fly line rod. And at the length of it, I think it's also good uh, for just slinging some jigs. One thing I noticed compared to all my other rods is the grip handle. It's a little bit bigger for my hands. You know, I'm not saying that I got small hands, but I do got smaller hands. And putting my hand wrapped around it, it just feels like it's, it's a little bit too thick for me. Um, I, I measured this with my millimeter gauge. And let's see here, coming out. This one comes out as about 32 millimeters in width on this. And I got a, a black diamond uh, and a Puma PCH and the I-Rod here. The I-Rod is probably the smallest of them all. I'm gonna check this one out. I-Rod here is at 26 millimeters, so you know you get a big gap difference and this one I feel like it's really perfect. I can throw this almost all day. Uh, this one's a little bit wider. This one here is, actually it's about 26 as well. Uh, 26 on the PCH Custom. I know the Black Diamond's a little bit wider um, and let's just double check that. It does get wider at the, at the tip of course, but it's, we check right in the middle. And this one here is at 28 millimeter. So you still got a big difference on the, the Hax A20. Um, I have a 720 and that one I would leave it alone just because I am, it has a full length on the um, EVA foam and I would just leave that just because I would be resting it on the rail. But this one here, I just want to keep it a little bit more slimmer. What I plan to do with it is actually just kind of like sand off a little bit of all these ridges that are raised bring it down to the center part where it's a little bit more thinner and then just try to go from there, see what we're gonna do. So let's take a look at that. And also another note, um, the lower section of it, this one here is 30 millimeter. So it's it's much more thicker at the top, but thinner at the bottom. So I could, I could grip the bottom and I just wanna bring this down right on the center. It's probably the thickness is just so you can kind of like rest it on the rail and it just kind of grips into it so it doesn't slip but let's see if we can bring it down because these other two are just like that and i prefer it that way off we're gonna need uh masking tape we're gonna mask off the edge of the rods here on both sides right where the real seat is and the top part of the foam um, i bought this from home depot this is uh, orbital sanders and it comes in a multi-pack with 80, 150, and 220, I'm gonna just go probably from 80 to 220, or maybe even just 80 and 150, don't need the 220, we'll see where it goes. I have an orbital sander, if you've ever seen my free DeWalt tools, this actually came on my last kit that I did an update, but this was free. Um, it was an orbital sander, I never even used it yet, so let's see how this works all together. A couple things to keep in mind, we are sanding EVA foam, so definitely have
So this is the final part of it. I ordered it last week and it finally came in with it and this is why I was doing this project. It's wind grips um, and I'm going to heat shrink it onto the actual cover itself. Um, at the time when I measured it, I measured it for the 35 millimeter and I, that's the one I had to get because the next size down was 30. I think I could have gotten away with 30, but let's try this out and see if it works. So cut and slipped on for the next step, which is Ika. Alright, the Axis 820, check it out. Wind grips. Removed all the ridges and nice and slender. I think we're running about 28 millimeter right now, so way much more better than before. And still covered the foam was um, you know just little particles here and there that I had to clean off, but it, it was getting on my fingers. But with this, kind of good to go. Didn't know if I wanted to have it, but I, I'm kind of glad I did. Probably didn't need the bottom, but I'll be honest, the foam was a little older. This rod, um, I bought it used secondhand, and I knew it was a little bit older, there, where they were disintegrating and getting a little bit on the foam. But this makes it all brand new again. Let's go. 